Hi, Gary Cruz with GaryCruz.com. If you're interested in making a kiosk display for your storefront or museum, then watch this video. Hi, GaryCruz.com here. And in this big box, I have a 43 inch touchscreen display that's used for museums, for what you see in storefronts. Uh, but what makes this different, it's that it's a touchscreen display and I'll be creating an interactive menu with it. I've looked on YouTube and haven't seen a lot of information related to how to put one together. And uh, I took this opportunity to walk you through what I'm going through now. Now the first thing I haven't even seen is an unboxing of one of these giant LED screens. This one came in from Texas from, who are these guys from? I'll put it in the description, I got it on Amazon. This was purchased with the museum funds and I'll be going through the experience of unboxing, putting it together, programming it, and ultimately delivering it to the museum. And if you're interested in this, definitely subscribe to this video. I review technology, gadgets, and more, and we'll get started. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing. What's nice is that this came in from Texas, directly from Texas, and it was actually originated from China. So it's really nice that they put in this really hefty packaging. It took two people to bring it upstairs. Let's get this plastic in, plastic off. The outside seems reinforced with pretty heavy duty cardboard. Okay, here's a view from the top of the box. It looks like it's secured pretty nicely with styrofoam and cardboard. Let's see if I can lift this thing out by myself. In fact, what I'll do is I'll probably flip this upside down and then lift the box. Okay, this side's the bottom. And in here is the base. Oh, it's pretty hefty, which is good. In this bag, there's uh, this little bag with a DVD and it has power cable, some screws, and it looks like the key to the case itself. And there's some additional bag that has some casters or feet. And we'll put these right on this sofa here. Nothing else in that box. Ideally, you wanna do this with two people, but I'm a one man show today. There doesn't seem to be instructions on how to put this together. Put this unit on top of the box and then we'll put the base on the bottom. Okay, the next thing we wanna do is to screw on this base unit. And let's grab these feet and put the casters on. And they screw on so that allows you to, red, to level it later on. Now from this bag, let's see what bolts will connect to the bottom. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, and then two towards the center. I'm just gonna hand tighten those. Get two on there at least. Okay, it doesn't look like I have the drill bits to fit this. So I'll just hand tighten these for now and then use the included tool to tighten it up. So I don't know if you saw, but I basically shifted it so that most of these are all centered. And then I'll just do a final tightening of these bolts using the included tool. All right, so if you haven't noticed yet, I've changed shirts because I was just burning up in the long sleeve. Now I'm gonna to try to get this vertically standing all by myself. Okay, here's the screen standing up. There is an access control panel in the back here. Let's see if I can get it with my phone. It's like the obelisk from 2001. 
So I'm about 5'7", five, 5'8", five, and this thing probably stands about 6.1. And inside this bag is an unlabeled DVD. Looks like it was burned. I don't know what it is, but I'll stick it in my computer later, let you know. And the IEC power cable that came with it doesn't look very long. Uh, let's see about how long this is. We might need an extension cord. But this will be in a museum and they'll probably need a pretty long cable. All right, so it looks like it's about a six foot cable if I'm. All right, six foot cable. Maybe just a tad bit longer. Let's get this thing plugged in, see what happens. Okay, so there's this door in the back. And there are two keys. We've got a tiny key here for this one. And we got a big one. Let's try the big one first. Okay. So back here, there, oh, here's where the power cable goes. Okay, here's a little close up. It looks like there's a little PC here. That is a microphone input, speaker output, but it looks like some harp, there's some speakers are hardwired in there. And this is a USB. There's an HDMI there. Doesn't look connected. So it's probably hardwired into the display. And then down here, I'm guessing that this is a remote and this is the power button. And if you look there, this is where the power plug goes. So let's plug that in. Okay, now what's interesting is that this little door doesn't look like it gives me access to anything but this solid piece here. And this looks like this is an antenna cable. And these might be the, this might be the display. So here's the antenna cable, and this might be going to the display itself. Let's power this on, see how it works. It looks like it's already in the on state. Let's, let's turn it off, route this little cable there. So we can close this and that's how it comes out the back. So let's plug this in. Nothing's happening. All right, here's the power switch. Let's flip that on. Here's something. There it goes. Press escape to start one key recovery timeout. Oh, there's the windows. It's starting. Hey, look at that, cool. There we go. Let's see how the touch screen works. I want to get to the control panel. So there's a control panel shortcut here. Let's double click on that. The control panel. Uh, let's see if I can drag this. Ooh, nice. Okay. Let's connect it, get connected to my Wi-Fi and test out the browser. Connect. Okay, it's connected. Now let's pull up a web browser. Look at that. Turn on Windows Firewall. Let's go ahead and get that turned on. Let me check out how the touch screen works with galleries. So let's go to a gallery. Go up here, click on collection. Visit the Jose Rizal one. to another gallery. Let's do Pina exhibit. 
And let's visit Tapis. Double click that. Got some images. Click on this one. It's taking me to the image, but I want to see the gallery. Oh, this just goes back. Okay. We'll have to try that out. Let's see how this gallery works. We can zoom in on it, zoom out. Very cool. Ideally, when I click on a gallery item, I can browse through this by swiping. And so that's the next step. But if I wanted to zoom in, I'll just pinch in like this. And I can see quite a bit of detail here of this image. And let's just go back to the Philippine Folk Life homepage. Okay, so uh, I just pulled up the about this system. Let me take a screenshot here. And it's running Windows 10 Professional. It's got a Intel Core i5-4300U CPU at 1.9 gigahertz. And it's maybe overclocked to 2.5 gigahertz. I'm not sure what that is. The installed memory is 8 gigs of RAM, running 64-bit operating system, and it supports 10 touch points for the pen and touch. Uh, let's actually try that out. Let's see if we can go open up. Let's go open Paint. And open up that app. I'm not sure if Paint supports it, but let's see. 10? Yes, it does. So there's 10 touch points on that. Let's actually get that a little bit closer here. And let's clear this out. Let's see, undo. So 10 fingers, 10 lines, five lines, two lines. Very cool. Let's close this out. Don't save close this out. Okay, so this concludes the initial unboxing and plug-in of this LEDscopic 43-inch 10-touch multi-touch display. And the next step is for me to put the software together so that uh, when you walk up to this in the museum, it'll be in kiosk mode so that you can interact with the manga series for Jose Rizal. So that's gonna be the first project. You'll be going, you can go through the chapters and pages and it'll be touch responsive. And so that's the next thing I need to figure out. If that's of interest to you and you wanna see more about this kiosk display and how that all works, then subscribe to this video or subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.